welcome to Chomp on This with me, Kim Lai. <laughs> I'm super excited to share this recipe with you guys today because I'm using patch chilies. Patch chilies, you guys, are only available a few weeks out of the year, and they're only grown in a place called Masia Valley in New Mexico. So today's recipe, you guys, I'm making a hatch chili mushroom dip. Super flavorful, super easy, and everybody is gonna love it. You're gonna need one cup of sauteed mushrooms. Now all I did was I washed the mushrooms and I sliced them up and then I sauteed them in olive oil. And then you're gonna need three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise half a cup of shredded mozzarella, 10 ounces of spinach. Now you guys can use um, a 10 ounce frozen brick, just let it thaw out and then squeeze all the water out of it, or you can just take fresh spinach like I did, and I just sauteed it in some water, and then I weighed it out to um, 10 ounces. And then the star of the show, hatch chilies. Now you guys, these are roasted hatch chilies, and I left the skin on because I want that roasted flavor and I want the texture and I also left the seeds in. So I did take a little bite and they weren't too, um, it wasn't too hot. Now what's gonna really give it some heat heat is this hatch chili powder. If you love that spice and that heat, go ahead and double it up and uh, yeah, just be ready. This is pretty spicy, but tasty. <laughs> okay, so once you have all the ingredients, Check out how simple this is. I'm gonna take my mushrooms, and then I'm gonna take my mayonnaise. I'm gonna take my Parmesan cheese. Oh, now you guys, with the mayonnaise, make sure to use real mayonnaise, none of that fake stuff. Mozzarella, I also have a little extra because I wanna put it on the top before it goes into the oven. So you guys, I'm going to mix all of this together, and then it's gonna go into a baking dish and then into the oven on 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, all right? Now, let me measure out. <laughs> Half a teaspoon. Remember, I said this is super hot. Half a teaspoon. I'm going to sort of want to do half of a half. Oh, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> this is gonna be fantastic. Okay, now take your pie plate and you're just gonna give it a little coat of your nonstick cooking spray. <laughs> Don't inhale the cooking spray. Turn the oven on to 350 guys so it preheats and gets and it's ready to go. I'm gonna put the mixture in my little pie plate. Oh wow, this is this looks delicious, you guys. It reminds me like of a hot spinach dip except, well, there's spinach in it, but it's it's not. You know when people do that, it's like, you know, it's sort of like this, but not. I so just did that. <laughs> it's not a spinach dip just because there's spinach in it. Here's where my extra mozzarella comes in. I just wanna put a little bit extra on top because I want it to be ooey gooey when it comes out. All right, you guys, 20 minutes in the oven and this beautiful masterpiece is what we've ended up with. You guys, you can serve this now, but you're gonna have to be really careful because it's really hot. If you're having a dinner party, get a hot pad and put this out in the middle of the table and just let everybody dig in. Obviously put crackers around the table as well. So I would highly recommend putting it into a serving dish. I love plating things into pretty things. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. So what you're gonna do is transfer this over into the smaller dish and then grab some crackers. Now, I like to have little baguettes um, or just really simple wheat crackers because there's so much flavor in the dip itself already that you don't want to, I, I don't want the crackers to be the star of the show, I want the dip to be the star of the show. Hatch chili mushroom dip. That took, what, 30 minutes? Maybe five to 10 minutes to chop everything up and prep the veggies, and then 20 minutes to bake, and voila, delicious. So let's give it a try. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, winner. All right, guys. I hope you make this. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to leave comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Bon appetit. Ciao.